Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm Pete Sines, Mayor of the City of Laredo. Uh, I, I do want to thank uh, Congressman Henry Cuellar and, of course, the uh, Secretary Mayorkas and his staff for uh, putting the meeting together. This is really my first encounter, so to speak, with, with someone other than our congressional leaders uh, to, to, you know, to visit with. Uh, this has been ongoing. The message was clear. Uh, you know, the, whatever system they're using is broken and needs fixing. Uh, we've, uh, I even questioned the uh, genuineness of the policies that are in place. Uh, you know, how serious are you all? And, and uh, it appears that it's taken too, too long to, uh, to truly start listening to the border community, at least I, I and others that hadn't had the opportunity of expressing ourselves. And the uh, dialogue was very candid, you know, very, very candid, very passionate, as, as some of us have expressed. But personally speaking, I think it, that had to be had. Uh, there's a lot of frustration. Uh, it's, it's been ongoing for months. And, uh, and we don't basically see any workable solutions. Uh, the mode here, uh, and with all due respect to our, our Secretary uh, Mayorkas, was basically a listening mode, just, just to take in. But we've been complaining, and people supposedly have been listening for some time. Uh, but we needed solutions, uh, uh, short-term solutions. Uh, and this proposal that we're saying, uh, a moratorium, Pause it, you know, shut that valve uh, until such time as we have a plan in place. Washington put a plan in place, and basically that plan uh, should, you know, uh, should entail uh, a uh, more efficient way of dealing with the migrants, uh, adjudicate them quicker, have these federal judges here. Uh, why send them uh, further on north when we know that the vast majority of them will be returned? Uh, it makes no sense. We need efficiency. Uh, we're not even at that point yet. Uh, uh, we're asking for resources. Personally speaking, 70% of the solution is reinforced border patrol. Uh, those people uh, are tired, frustrated. They need reinforcements. Uh, and, uh, and I'm told that the, the border patrol budget uh, has not been increased. Uh, that's part of the solution. Uh, those are our, the people that we need to, to have side by side and reinforced uh, uh, because without them, it, you know, this thing is just going to continue to grow and mushroom and, and I don't know where it's going to take us, uh, but, uh, but apparently it's a tsunami now. And, uh, and something should have been done early on. That's the past. Hopefully now it, this is a step forward toward hopefully some solutions. The only thing I heard personally is that the uh, secretary and others have been visiting with Mexico. Wonderful, uh, wonderful. Uh, and that hopefully in the short term, they, there may be some solutions that uh, could be effective for the border. Uh, I, I stand ready to, to listen to that. I stand ready also to do our part. But keep in mind, this is a federal issue created by failed federal policies. Uh, and, uh, and they're expecting us you know, smaller entities, communities, to bail them out. Uh, that's very, very unfair. Uh, and, uh, and, and I know we can do better as, as a country, uh, and, uh, and we should do better. And I'm expecting, my expectations are high. And I won't quit uh, complaining or talking until such time as we see some viable, uh, practical solutions, uh, be a Democrat, be a Republican. Uh, you know, we need to secure the border. Uh, way back then, each president brings their policies. We respect that. But here, uh, my understanding was that this current administration wanted to do a virtual wall, uh, an, an intelligent wall. Uh, and we haven't seen any elements of it. I personally haven't seen it. Uh, you know, I don't think you know, any of us. What does that consist of? Personnel. Bring more personnel, Border Patrol, CBP, uh, uh, technology. Uh, uh, Road building in our in our river you know edges uh, where border patrol will have a decent accessibility to you know to whoever's you know, coming across uh, clearing the the brush area you know for lines of sight that that they ran on uh, but is what is it eight months now and we haven't seen any of that anyway thank you so much appreciate it.